Hey guys, it's Jamie. And I'm Amanda, and we're with Siouxland Libraries. And today we have a special behind the scenes at the State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls. I am so excited. I've never been inside this building before, and I cannot wait to go in there and explore. I've never been in here either, and I heard they just redid it. So I can't wait. Let's go check it out. Let's go. All right, you guys, so we are here with Allison, who's the executive director of the State Theater. Allison, thank you so much for having us. Thanks for being here. Yeah, this is a beautiful place. Can you tell us like when it was originally built? Yeah, it was built in 1926. Oh, that wow. was a long time ago. <laughs> yes. And then when did you guys reopen? We reopened on December 11th um, of 2020. So not that long ago. So not that long, yeah. Um, we restored the auditorium, the interior here, yeah. to how it looked um, in 1926. That is awesome. And I'm sure that was not an easy task because back then pictures are a lot, you know, they're black and white, yeah. not color. So how did you figure out the color scheme and the patterns and all of that? Yeah, well, well, we bring in experts to do that because it's a lot of patience. They're <laughs> yeah. like detectives. They have to go and peel back layers and layers of paint to see what was originally there. Yeah. And once they do that, even all of the decorative stenciling that you see around to what is the base color of just the wall, um, they go and they, they match it and they create custom colors and custom stencils, and then we replicate it. It sounds like a lot of work. Yes, But it paid it off because it's beautiful in here. I just love it. Yeah, there's not many theaters that have been restored to their original grandeur, and that was so fun um, for us to do. Of course, the seating is an original <laughs> to what it was in 1926. Yes. Much smaller seats. Um, they were wooden originally, okay. but we knew that we wanted people to be very comfortable giving them a better seat than they do at their house. Yeah, because these look like recliners, like yes, very comfortable they seats. They do all of them recline. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so if I were to come here to the State Theater, um, not only do I get to see the beautiful building, but like, what do you guys do here if I were to come? Yeah, we show movies. Oh, I love movies. <laughs> yes, yes, I love movies too. And all kinds of movies from, yeah. you know, the old black and white classics to new movies, kids, family. Um, we're trying out everything. All right, so you mentioned that this place opened originally in 1926. What was the very first movie you guys showed? It was Behind the Front. Ooh. Yes, and we actually have it here today. Are you, yeah, really? we do. <laughs> that we, is awesome. We do, we wanted to see what it was. Um, you know, typically when people came to the State Theater in 1926, um, they came, they would have um, heard a little bit of the Wolitzer organ that would have been Ooh. here. Um, and then they would have um, saw a little film and then also a vaudeville act. Wow. And so they would lift the screen and um, a little touring groups of, you know, magicians or song and dance numbers. Um, they come and have a live show on the stage. That sounds like an entire experience and a, like a really awesome night. Yeah, people it, really went out a lot, you yeah. know. Um, there wasn't TV or um, things like that. So they were going to theater, you know, sometimes once or twice a week. Wow, a very different time than yes. what we live in yes. now. Well, Allison, this is a beautiful room and, and I love seeing it, but I kind of want to see more, like some behind the scenes or see more of the theater. Is that something we can do? Absolutely, let's go. Awesome, let's do it, <laughs> thanks. So we're here with Steven, who's the general manager at the State Theater. And just tell me about this space. Where are we right now? Yes, we're up on the fourth floor in the projection room. Okay. So projection room, that must mean this is where the film's actually being shown. From, yes. Right? So this is where the uh, projector is, is housed. It's at the back of the house. So it's able to shoot down over top of the, the audience down there onto the screen. Okay. So I'm assuming it's different today than how it was shown before. Can you kind of talk about that process? Yes, everything we do now is digital. So it's right. similar to what you get on your computer. They're just files that you can have on a, a USB drive or anything like that. Okay. And then we put it on our digital projection system and then it plays that file onto the screen. 
I mean, this still looks pretty big. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a massive <laughs> it's system. Not a little system like yes, that, right? Yeah, a little different than what you see in a classroom. Right, and so and then previously, before digital, um, it was on like big film reels? Yep, How it would be on work? film reels. Okay. And that's the projector in the back, that the old one that we uh, used all the way until it closed in the 90s. Right, so now you can come up here, get the movie set up, and it's kind of going on its own. But before, there used to be somebody up here, right? Yep, somebody would have to man the, the reels at all time, be up here once it got started, uh, all the way till the end, and there was a lot more maintenance uh, getting those film reels to go. So it sounds like once we got a movie going, they obviously couldn't leave. What if they have to go to the bathroom? Yeah, so once, uh, once you get that projector going and fired up, nobody would want to leave this room just because it's kind of a fire hazard. Uh, and you don't want to pay attention to what's going on. So in this room, there was a toilet in the corner, oh, wow. a sink for <laughs> washing your hands, uh, and it would also get quite hot. And so we read from some old articles that there was actually a little shower outside on the landing on the roof that the projectionist could go out and cool off cool afterwards <laughs> before going back downstairs to, to meet everybody else. That's awesome. Because I can just imagine what it was like without any AC oh, up yeah, here. Oh, yeah, I bet. Um, so and then we also passed... Uh, another room on our way up. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so that was the manager's apartment, and it okay. was built, um, obviously, fully functioning theaters take a lot of work, a lot of time, and okay. so it was a place where the manager could stay, uh, you know, after shows, you know, just to, to not have to leave the facility, just because it is such a big, originally when the, this was built, it's, it seated almost 1,500 people. Oh. Uh, so those productions are big. Yeah, and absolutely. so a lot of uh, people and a lot of maintenance. So. Yeah, no kidding. So it doesn't look like you're living there now. No, I, I could be. <laughs> I, sh I probably should be, <laughs> based on the amount of time that I spend here. But yeah. uh, it's a little barren right now. And um, yeah, no, not, not right now. <laughs> what are we seeing on the wall here? So some of these are the different portholes. Um, some are original okay. to when the theater were, was built, uh, just like we're using this one for the projector to shoot out of. Sure. Uh, there's two others for additional projection systems that would have been used uh, originally, and then some for um, spotlights oh, okay. uh, for when there was some stage production. So you mentioned 1,500 seats, which is a ton. Mm -hmm. What are we at now? So right now on the main floor, the recliner seats, we have 155 okay. there. Up in the balcony are, are still, not the original, but they're still old seats. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're very narrow. The rows are very tight. There's about 400 seats up there right now. Um, once we get into that phase and redo the balcony, that'll be cut down to probably 150 seats also up on the balcony. All right, so we're in the lobby, which is the first space that you're gonna see come into the movies. Tell me a little bit about this. Yeah, we replicated it to how it looked originally in 1926. It was all torn out um, in the 50s for a more oh, modern wow. look. So we went off of a few photos and we were able to determine, you know, what the plaster looked like in the marble. Um, what is kind of cool is we've added a concession stand yep. and bathrooms on the main floor. They weren't either. When that it wasn't here before. That wasn't here in 1926. Oh, wow. <laughs> there was just a few um, bathrooms on that second floor. Okay. And concessions could, uh, you know, you gotta have popcorn when right, you're watching when you go a to movie. a movie. Yeah. Yeah. So they, it looks like they used to get their tickets out of, the, out of the box office and you still have that, which is really cool. Yeah, it's, it's really fun. You know, you can, um, the nice, months when it's nice outside you can purchase your tickets um, outside um, what's really cool is back when it opened you had to get your tickets there okay. there was just a small lobby space which we're in right now and people for really popular movies would have to line up all around the block um, and that's where the term blockbuster comes from oh, i didn't know that oh that's that's really interesting mm -hmm. so i heard there's tunnels here as well is that true yes are they still are. in the building? They're still in the building. And do we get to see them? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. So what are they for? Well, originally when there were vaudeville shows going, um, a lot of the actors would use them for, you know, backstage entrances. Oh, sure. Um, or adjusting, you know, the screen size, which is something that we still do today. Oh, that's super cool. And so you can go through there and nobody sees that you're going up to the yes, stage? Yes, exactly. Wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to see these. Let's go see them. The 
this was so much fun coming to the state theater, exploring the building, learning about the history, and getting a sneak peek to a movie. I know, it's been so fun, but yes. I think we should probably be quiet. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us.